Hey guys, Josh Hofstra here with Lone Star Discs. I am going to be rocking the BB6 for our one disc only challenge. We're here at hole one at McDade, so I'm about to launch it on the left side here, and hopefully that understability is gonna come back and save me, because these guys are good. We've got a little right to left crosswind too here, so. Oh, I put too much, oh, go through. <laughs> okay, good way then. All right, today, guys, I'm going to be throwing the Mad Cat for a one disc challenge at McDade. I got it in the Alpha and Bravo plastic. All right. That might be good. Sweet. And it's absolutely parked. <laughs> Is it, which one did you throw there, the Alpha? Uh, that was the Alpha Mad Cat. For me, it's more understable than the Bravo. The Alpha will stay straighter longer before it comes back at the end. And then the Bravo is kind of like a meat hook. It's pretty beefy. It this comes back fast. Something that I have to put a lot of power into as, as the noodle arm representative? Uh, it's not quite as overstable as something like that, but it's definitely very workable either, even for like the solar arm speeds. Oh, right on. Yeah. All right, so typically from this distance with a penny, I can jam it in. But since we're doing a one disc only challenge, I'm going to go with the Alpha BB6. Um, it's got kind of a dull rim to it, so I'll see what I can do here. Oh, go in. Oh. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to be putting with the Bravo Mad Cat because I feel like it'll stick to the chains better. All right. Jam. All right. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> this next one's going to be a little bit of a challenge. The BB6 is made to go through the woods, so I don't think I'm going to run into any issues. The Mad Cat, though. No, I don't think it'll be a problem. <laughs> We're hitting the Mad Cat right through the left gap and hopefully get some chains. It's one way. Oh, Ooh, bad tree. The last one. So we've got two, three, five, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to throw this Bravo, hopefully hit this gap. Um, We'll see, Bravo's a little bit more stable. Oh no! Oh no. Wrong gap. Not a bad kick. <laughs> so for these approach shots, I would typically use an Alpha Penny because it'll hold whatever line you put it on. The BB6 with having that positive two fade at the end does like to come back. So we'll see what this does here in Alpha. Oh, too much. Roller? <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm gonna try to skip it in with the Mad Cat. Mad Cat? Oh, I thought you had a midi in your hand. Sorry. It's my only option. <laughs> you oh, are so good. Nailed good. it. <laughs> <laughs> two down through two. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm literally what? speechless. You know how hard it is? <laughs> That's so hard to make me speechless. <laughs> I'm going to get it. just talking about him, not stop What? Talking. Now he's speechless. All right. That's not what the numbers are for. <laughs> that is what the numbers are for, isn't it? That's what, yeah. No. Whoa. Oh, we got a chihuahua in this vid. Yes, we do. Hole three of McDade. This is one of the tougher ones on the course. I'm going to go with the uh, Alpha Mad Cat. Oh, first available. I see it. All right, BB6, Bravo Plastic. Oh, I turned that so hard. Oh, I tried to flip it and I didn't bend my back. <laughs> I'm gonna go forehand roller. See if I can get down there and get a three look. Oh, it's still going. Mm. And that's middle of the fairway. Not bad. Lay off the power here. Try to just go up the gut. Oh. 
Good try off. Oh, almost got it. Oh, speaking of crazy 3-2, how about a negative 3-2? I'll edit in the horns later. Get it? Three? Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Don't roll. Where's that tournament roll? I may have left myself with a difficult five over here. Good four. I got a four. I'm about to get a four two. It is fortuitous that we got two fours. <clears throat> So this is the part of the round where I realized that I messed up and maybe I should have gone with something like a harpoon. Hole four at McDade is far and left and has a massive river on the right side. So let's see what I can do with an understable disc. You are up my friend. All right, hole four, 416 feet. I'm gonna go with the Alpha Mad Cat. I have to really get on this one to try to get it there. I don't know if it's going to reach it. It might be there. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give the Bravo Mad Cat and the Glow Mad Cat a rip and see the flight differences. I'll do the Bravo first. Oh, that's quite a bit more overstable. All right, I'll let the Glow Midi rip. See what happens. That one's decent. All right. Bravo BB6, so it's at least slightly beef. We have a headwind too, just to make things even more interesting for me. I'm gonna have to come and like, all right, let's see if I can not mess this up. Oh no, true love. <laughs> We're <Safe>. good. <laughs> That's OB, so I have another idea. So what we learned from this is the BB-6 is flippy. <laughs> That'll play. And, this one. and I got you guys a little harpoon. Check that out. It's like Aquaman. My name is Cat. Hi, that? Cash. I'm Josh. That's awesome, bud. What's this one do? Pound it. This one goes short, this one goes far. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, short. Oh. All right, tap in three. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with that Alpha Mad Cat. It's about. 330 feet. Uh, and that's right. absolutely parked. Sweet. Looks like Josh again with the wrong disc for this hole. But the right attitude, okay? That's all that matters. Because that's, that's what matters. You had the height on that one. <laughs> yeah, I did. Turn! Four. Where are you going? Oh, Four! Hit the pole. Four! Four. Oh, uh, way shorter than that. Gee, what <laughs> happened? All right, so I just got to throw it in. Is that a disc or no? Yeah. Into a headwind. <laughs> oh! I'm in shambles, folks. How did I? <laughs> Chris, I think you put the bad juju on me. With all these fives. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Bravo, Bravo Mad Cat on forehand. Oh, well, please might have a look. Oh, it's still turning. 
You gotta hyzer it. Mm hmm. Ah, that'll play. About 20 feet. Air ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 All right. These are not putters. Good play. All right, hold on. Uh, Bravo Mad Cat. Try to get a little skip to the left. Oh, I got the oh, skip. It'll be a look. Was, all right. Bravo BB6. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I knew it was going to be good for that shot. That was a good one. All right. There's a little gap right here. Heads up. Oh. <laughs> All right, par. <laughs> I hate that noise. All right, hole 10, McDade Park. We'll go with the Bravo Mad Cat again. See if I can get a little skip base. Oh, that's way right. Sit down. Oh. All right, so this should be ideally a perfect VB6 or putter hole. Flex back. So I found that the Alpha is a little bit different in the flight characteristics um, on the different plastics. What have you seen? Yeah, I definitely see the same thing. The Alpha seems to be straighter than the Bravo plastic or the Glow plastic. Like you can really get the Alpha to go another 30 feet when the Bravo is going to dump and slow down. Yeah, I found my glow to be more stable, the Bravo to be overstable, and the Alpha to be almost a little understable. I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's true. I would say that's for sure. Uh, I think on hole four, I threw the all three of the plastics, and mm -hmm. the Alpha was the furthest, then the glow, then the Bravo. So I feel like the Bravo is the beefiest, and then the glow's in between, and then the Alpha is straighter. That's what Bravo stands for, beefy. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> But not BB6. Yeah, yeah not they BB don't make Bravo it. Bravo 6. Beefy BB6. <laughs> nope. I didn't even think about it, dude. <laughs> you gotta get it there. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, last hole of the one disc challenge. I'm gonna go with the Alpha Mad Cat at hole 18, McDade Park. Oh, that'll come back. Big skip off. Big the... skip. Oh, I might get a bird. <laughs> Dang man, take a little luck. Hope my BB sixes do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. All of the coolest things in your life happen right. because somebody said yes. Yeah. Like, well, you Jim Carrey now? yeah. All right. Well, then I'm gonna try something stupid. I'm gonna do a grenade BB6, <laughs> and we'll see what car I hit. All because Chris doesn't want me to do well in this hole. <laughs> it actually was pretty it was good. gonna fly. Yeah. Roller? Oh, it's gonna work. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. And now, turn oh, over! Did. Let's go, baby! <laughs> That's what I meant to do. Yeah, let me move my grip bag. <laughs> oh, oh. Somewhere. You threw your white BB6 on the grenade. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know where it went, though. Considering that I've aced every hole with the BB6. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that round with Chris, Tanner, and I at Lone Star Discs. We had a ton of fun, there was a lot of fives, and there was a lot of OBs. 
Tanner really impressed us with the way that he was able to manipulate the Alpha and Bravo plastic on the Mad Cat, and Chris and I both have a much better understanding of how understable and overstable both of our mids were. As always, stay tuned to all of our social media content and stay huckin'. <laughs>